Hey guys, Chris here with The Good Old Gamer. So today I want to announce that I have finally figured out the main issue of my recording problems, the audio problems that have been plaguing this channel for quite a while now. Obviously in this basement there is a lot of echo. Uh, I've gone ahead and filled it up, I have some foam on the walls, but it's still, there's still a pretty good echo down here. But the past couple videos, you know, I tried to use things like Audacity and Audio Director and a couple other programs to go ahead and try to mitigate the problems, but the audio quality just was coming out pretty bad, and I've now found the culprit. This is kind of important information to some of you out there that do some video editing, and you may use the same program that I am. Basically, I use PowerDirector from CyberLink, and I'm using PowerDirector 15, I didn't upgrade to 16, so I can't speak to whether or not that that program has the same issue, but 15 absolutely does when recording in AAC audio. The actual video editing program, when it's doing its compressing, is what's generating that extra echo and distorted effect when I'm speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and show you two examples of audio that I actually recorded. So it's going to be two intros. One of them is with proper processing that I've now figured out. And the second one's going to be the original audio that I went ahead and put up on YouTube for you guys. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Hey guys, Chris here with the good old gamer. So first off, you might have noticed the, the microphone is now in view. The reason for that is, is I went ahead and got an arm for my microphone, so hopefully that will help out audio quality. Hey guys, Chris here with the good old gamer. So first off, you might have noticed the, the microphone is now in view. The reason for that is, is I went ahead and got an arm for my microphone, so hopefully that will help out audio quality. So you can clearly hear a major difference in audio quality between those two video clips. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is that I've done to correct this. So if you are using CyberLink uh, PowerDirector, you're not making the same mistakes that I am. Because this wasn't one of the things that I was thinking was a problem. You know, I figured the software was doing its job. I figured it was either the microphones or the, the room or, or something. So I was trying to fix every other problem except for the actual issue. Okay, so I'm just going to make a dummy video here, so this way I can kind of show you what settings that I'm using to go ahead and make this sound right. So if you go to Produce, and then you go under MP4, you know, which is the format that you need for YouTube, I've started recording in 1440p at 60 hertz for better image quality and for uh, higher bit rates overall. Now, it's not true 1440p, but it will show up as 1440p on YouTube, and it does allow for the higher 24 megabit bitrate at 60 hertz. Now, under audio, we have AAC, stereo, and the maximum YouTube will allow is 384 kilobits. So, okay, that's all just fine, but that's the distorted output that you guys just heard. If you produce in these settings, you're not going to get very good audio quality. So instead, switch to MKV... And then I have a custom profile set up with basically all the same stuff, you know, same bit rate, same everything, except I'm outputting the audio as LPCM, so it's uncompressed at 1.5 megabits. So once the video is produced, I just go into Handbrake and I set up a custom profile to go ahead and change it back into an MP4 with AAC audio. Now, I go ahead and set the bit rate on this one back to 384, and this works just fine. And then you get the audio quality that you're hearing now in this particular video. So I wanted to go ahead and explain what the issues were that were going on in a few videos because the past few weeks I've been putting out videos that I feel are really important. And I'm thinking about going back and re-editing those and possibly re-releasing those. So I want to let you guys know out there if you see basically the same videos popping up as new, that's the reason why. I'm going to take down the old ones where the audio isn't very good and replacing them with ones that do sound a lot better. On YouTube, you can't just switch out a video once it's uploaded. You have to basically delete it off and then put a new one up. So that's just the way that that's going to have to go. Because there's a reason why I'm doing the... I started off with CPUs, then GPUs, and then the adaptive sync monitors. And there's going to be a couple more videos in that lineup. And it's going to be a holistic picture uh, of something that I'm trying to demonstrate to you guys and I want to talk about. So we need to do each piece individually and then we're going to do kind of a summary. So I know the audio quality, especially on the adaptive sync video, was especially bad because I tried using filters with Audacity to try to make it sound better, which it actually does, 
but with the distortion effects from Power Director, it really just kind of shot the audio quality all to hell. So that one, I may even record the video because I went ahead and turned the gain up on my microphone to try to compensate and that's the reason why it comes out sounding like I was clipping, because it was. It was clipping really bad. That one I may have to re-record and redo, so that may be worth re-watching, because I'll go and address some of the questions and comments in the, basically, I guess you can call it like a follow-up video, or a remastered version. Let's do that. You know, games remaster all the time. So I'm going to remaster uh, that particular video, because I feel that that one's one of the more important videos that I've put out in a while. So I just wanted to put this out here to, A, inform you if you are using PowerDirector, Hey, there are ways around this if you're having audio trouble. If you're not, maybe it's because there is a little echo in here and it just exacerbates that problem. That could be it. So if you don't have an echo issue, maybe it's just not an issue at all. But I just wanted to let everybody know that this is something that I've been working on and finally have a solution for. So if audio problems were bothering you, hopefully moving forward, that won't really be an issue anymore. Well, alrighty, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you guys have yourselves a great weekend. And I will catch you guys in the next video.